Well, the nighttime shenanigans continue, so we're trying something called, wait for it, Les Paws. I'll tell you all about it in your week 27 update. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned that Faith was getting up every couple hours and this continues. In fact, it's almost getting worse. So I put her down, let's say around eight, she gets up at 9.30, 11.30, 1.30, three, four, I mean, it's getting insane. I have got to do something. I realized what could be the problem after doing some research is that there are so many people in the bedroom, it's crazy, okay? So obviously Michael and I are in the room with her, but then usually one or two of our children migrate into our room in the middle of the night too. So we actually just have a couple extra mattresses on the floor in case you know they have a bad dream or whatever. And a lot of times they end up there too. So now we've got basically the whole entire family in like a 200 square foot space. And this is probably contributing to the multiple wake ups, okay? Because energetically we can pick that stuff up, even babies can, okay? So what I'm doing this week, I'm gonna try, is getting everyone out of our bedroom, basically. Even myself, I think I'm going to be sleeping on one of those little cots on the floor, like in the hallway, just outside of the bedroom, and just do this for a week to see if I can get Faith to just sleeping better. And if I do hear her at midnight or two or four or whenever, just giving her a few moments to kind of see if she can work it out herself instead of me always coming to the rescue. Because I have been so paranoid about not waking up anyone else in our bedroom, particularly Michael, because he's a very light sleeper, that the minute I hear anything like, ooh, 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 I am right at the crib getting her and rocking her because I don't want her to wake up the rest of the family. But this is not working well when it comes to good sleep skills and just knowing how to self-soothe and kind of put herself back to bed. So I'm really praying that this helps um, because we got to do something, I'm telling you. Uh, in other news, I'm looking for signs of crawling, okay? Because let me just say, by this time, Paloma was already crawling, okay? She was kind of an early bloomer. And maybe your baby is like that too. Um, Griffin was showing signs around now. And with Faith, I'm seeing some, but not many, <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, so the only time she really gets into it is at the end of the day, I, when I'm kind of getting her ready for bed. Um, we've got a big king size bed and she'll just get on her belly and she starts kind of, you know, doing almost like an army crawl. Um, with her knees scrunched up. And a lot of times though, she tips over and falls down. It's really sweet. Um, so there I'm showing, okay, she's learning that how to kind of try to move her body. But what she tends to like to, to do more is kind of this wiggle worm move where she goes backwards. It's very funny. I've never seen a child do it. Um, so, or at least any of my kids. And so that's kind of what she's doing right now. Frankly, her favorite position is sitting up, okay? She loves looking out into the world this way. Um, and she's pretty good at it for her age. So we've been doing a lot of practicing on that on soft surfaces. And so it's just neat to see. I'm like, gosh, is she gonna be one of those babies that doesn't really crawl that much or maybe skips it all together? Yes, this does happen. Babies go from literally laying on the floor to sitting up to standing and walking. Um, so more will be revealed, but it's just fun for us to kind of experiment and watch her and how she is developing. So I hope your week 27 was great and I'll catch you next week for your 28 week update. Hi, I'm Genevieve Howland, AKA Mama Natural, and this is my third baby, Faith. Together, we'll be taking you through baby's first year. So be sure to sign up for your free updates at mamanatural.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much and we'll catch you next week.